Okay, so let, let's start. And I said uh, now after we talk about the diffusion, we are moving into the interfacial uh, phenomena. The first thing to understand would be the interfacial energy. And uh, in this lecture, we are going to first talk about the simplest one, which is the so-called surface energy. How do we understand the surface energy? Okay. So before we go in there, let's first talk about uh, the different uh, types, different types of uh, interfaces uh, within solid. The, we can classify them by the material on each side of the interface. Interface is some a boundary that separates two parts. Okay, if we have so-called surface, what is surface? It's kind of the end. Uh, for a material between what's inside and what is the gas or, or, or vacuum, right? That's the boundary between the solid material and the vacuum or gas phase. That's the surface. And uh, the unique feature is if we are dealing with practical material, it is always present, right? You cannot find a material that doesn't have surface right for for um, we, we are not living in a mathematical world we live in practical world everything has a boundary has a surface okay and uh, it is the surface energy would matters in a lot of phenomena such as vaporization going from solid into gas right the surface energy would matter that going from condensation which is the other way going from the gas phase back into solid phase and the wetting right wetting is how a secondary phase would spread or not spread over so-called matrix or host material and fracture what is fracture a material single material become two let's say pieces we are creating a new or two new surfaces right you think of a material you break into two you have two new surfaces that are created so the surface energy would matter in this phenomena and then another type of interface called the green boundary that you learned what is green boundary it is the interface that separate uh, what kind of typically the same material right same composition same crystal structure but uh, what is different and so i wrote here different uh, orientation between one green and uh, the other green of the same material aluminum aluminum titanium titanium they are the same material pure aluminum pure titanium but uh, they are same composition same crystal structure but uh, they are quite often aligned in different uh, orientation different uh, directions so this creates a so-called green boundary it's within the solid that's the same region that separates the same material but with different orientation because we said most cases we are dealing with crystalline material right green boundary doesn't come into play if you are dealing with so-called uh, glassy or amorphous material because in those case the orientation doesn't really matter we don't have a periodical fashion within the material Make sense <laughs> and then green boundary unlike surface they can be <coughs> absent yes right green boundary the for ladies they were the <coughs> jewelry they have that single crystal diamond for the expensive ones for those non-expensive ones you have the so-called the single crystal cubic uh, the cornea the still single crystal for a silicon chip, quite often you are dealing with single crystal silicon, and um, along the entire material you don't find a single green boundary. So green boundaries can be absent if we are dealing with single crystal material, but single crystal material still have surfaces, right? No matter how big your single crystal is, you cannot avoid a surface. Make sense? And then. The in so-called green boundary, these type of special interface would matter in certain phenomena. Include at least them recrystallization. 
for people who deal with metal, they do the cold rolling of the polycrystalline material and then when they heat it up they find okay at a very low temperature a lot of small grains come up so called recrystallization phenomena they would deal with in phenomena such as green girls from small green to larger green for the same polycrystalline material our green boundary relatively speaking become less and less the individual green become larger and larger they are also involved with so-called mechanical strengths, like uh, when we are dealing with most metals, the more the green boundaries, typically the so-called yield strengths become higher because you would have more probability for the moving dislocation to run into a so-called boundary or green boundary, and the dislocation moved towards that green boundary got stuck. That's what gives you the so-called uh, yield strength, right? Higher more green boundary means more probability of the dislocation motion to be stuck and the higher the strength. And also hardness, what people find when the MIT professor was here, he mentioned, okay, the smaller the green, quite often for many material, the higher the Harness. Of course, harness is something very difficult to understand, unlike strength, but generally people find within extent, within certain extent, down to, I don't know, 10 nanometer range, 15 nanometer range. The smaller the green, people quite often find the higher the harness, or apparent harness, put it that way. Green boundary would matter in those phenomena. And then another type of interface we call it interface interfaces interface between which means between different uh, faces right in a way to say um surface is the interface interfaces but generally let's treat surface differently they separate the two phases quite often we are dealing with solid material but between a foreign inclusion a secondary phase and the host material between your boron nitride addition and your titanium. That's a so-called interface interfaces. Okay, and quite often they are separating solid material with different uh, crystal structure as well as different composition, right? Interface and uh, they matter in phase transformation between alpha tit um, titanium and gamma titanium between the uh, precipitate and uh, the matrix aluminum alloy, right? So they matters in phase transformation in mechanical properties, okay? And they are, relatively speaking, more complex and at least understood, okay?